Well, you said you like surprises, so let's start off with a big surprise. Um, I don't have any big surprises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's talk about let's talk about precious metals and cryptocurrencies. Um, okay. It, did you ever think back in 2011 that eight years later, it's been eight years, that the price of silver would be right where it is right now at about 15 and a quarter? Uh, are we recording right now? Yeah, we're recording. And I'm, oh, I'm gonna, oh, okay, okay. I'm going oh, okay. to leave that in just to show people how real this is. Oh, okay, cool. That's fine. Yeah, at that point, I thought, man, so Silver is going to go to the roof. Uh, we're going to have this hyperinflation. You know, this debt bubble is going to burst by 2012. Obama is going to be uh, the worst president out there, and uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now it's 2019, eight years later, silver is at the same price. While on the other hand, you know, you've seen the stock market uh, go up like crazy. You've seen other good prices, they've gone up. I mean, collectible goods gone up. So it's just quite amazing. I mean, I remember Ann Bernhardt, that crazy lady did a video. Uh, she was saying like, get out of everything. If you're invested in any of these products, not only will you not see that kind of return, if you do not move aggressively and proactively to remove your wealth from the financial system, you will likely have the vast majority of your wealth stolen, confiscated, or inflated away. You need to start moving right now. Because one second after the black swan event, it'll be too late. When MF Global blew up, but long story short, um, the world is still the way it is. I mean, the only difference is you have Donald Trump as president. Yeah, it's funny about Ann Barnhart, you're bringing her up because she was, she had a kind of a big following, you know, and, and people, you know, really resonated with what she was saying. You know, she had that. And if you remember, she wrote this sort of open letter to Wall Street and her, and her clients and it went viral. And that was, you look back over your shoulders, the worst thing you could have done there with your money. That was the dumbest move you could have made. So yeah, one of the dumbest moves. I mean, I, I think that she'll eventually be right, but that's probably going to be 2032-ish, uh, 2033 ish when Martin Armstrong and then a few others are saying that, you know what, because of the way uh, our system is going, this uh, boom that we've experienced since Ronald Reagan, that's going to eventually burst. I mean, it's not going to go back to where the Dow is not going to go back to where it was under Reagan, but it's just you're just going to see a radical correction in the stock market and well, then a move from. Well, hold on. It was saying, saying that she will eventually be right. <clears throat> yeah. From Dow, let's say eighty thousand. My target on the Dow is still eighty thousand. See, my my upside is eighty thousand. Uh, sometime in the next, eh, I'm gonna say fifteen to twenty years. I mean, I think there's going to be a huge, ridiculous move in the Dow. Um, but but to say let's say let's say we go to Dow eighty thousand and it crashes down right. to Dow fifty thousand or forty or thirty or even twenty. Yeah, that's right. not exactly her being right, is it? Yeah, it's not technically her being right. I'm just saying that you know we're gonna see you know a lot of people think that. Uh, the private sector is great, it's wonderful, and whatnot, and then you're going to see this shift towards uh, socialism, you know, like, uh, I've seen you do some videos about uh, AOC and whatnot, and that's how this new generation, I think it's called Gen Y, and then some of the millennials are just going to be like, you know what, I'm sick of this, uh, my parents were dumb, my grandparents were dumb, let's try something new, yes. because it, it clearly worked under FDR, they're going to say some nonsense like that but they don't realize uh, yeah. the craziness that they're espousing. Yeah, and, and you really make a good point there. Um, Diane Feinstein actually looks sane compared to the crop of lunatics out there right now. That are, But, you know, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is 29, and there's a lot of other younger folks like her who have literally no idea what they're talking about. But they are they are that generation which is coming in, and they are, they are a privileged uh, spoiled. They've never had to work for anything their entire life generation. They never struggled for anything. There were no wars on our borders. There were no, you know, no real economic problems. I mean, they grew up having everything handed to them and they just don't know what they're doing. And I, but I agree with you that they're going to say, well, my, my parents and grandparents, what, what they did didn't work for whatever reason. And socialism seems real sexy. You know, everyone gets free stuff. And that does frighten me because, you know, we could be looking at 20 or 30 years of crazy crazy social problems. Because oh, it, it's going to be much longer than that. And speaking of AOC, I don't think she's smart enough to even espouse even the ideas she's coming from. And 
or what she's talking about. And all of her ideas, they're coming from her Indian handler, Saikat, uh, I think Chakabrati, however you right. say his and, name. And did, you see Mr. And, did you see Mr. Reagan's video on that? Yeah, I, I just saw it today. The brains behind Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Mr. Reagan. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is not really the congresswoman of New York's 14th congressional district. She is essentially an actress. She's merely playing the part of a New York congresswoman. Uh, dude, that's the best. Mutual contact John, he sent it to me today. I watched it. I'm like, wow. I mean, dude, that it's amazing because in, in anyone listening, Mr. And I'll put a link to Mr. Reagan's yeah, video. You, everyone needs to watch that video. Yeah, you everyone. Need to, yeah, man. I mean, you need to watch that because he did a stellar job of researching it. And what's and Rahul, here's what's amazing, man. The the folks behind that. And I'm gonna let you talk more about this, but I just want to briefly let people know that the folks behind what you're talking about, the brains behind AOC. They openly trumpet the fact that they did it. I mean, they openly say this was a casting call. We, we brought her in. Uh, she's an actress. Uh, I mean, it's totally stunning. I mean, what, what do you make of that, by the way? I just find it quite incredible that no one, even in the alternative media, has picked up on this. I mean, we always, I mean, a lot of people in our circles, they look at these conspiracy theory websites, but nobody has put two and two together except Mr. Reagan. I'm sure that someone has, but it hasn't uh, gone viral and i'm really surprised about that and, i mean obviously yeah. the mainstream media is not going to pick up on that but well you know you just I mean, where's zero hedge where's infowars where's uh, black pigeon speaks where's paul joseph watson on this well i think you know what I, I think mr reagan has set something in motion and i think you're going to get more people talking i mean we're talking about it right now so i think more people will talk about it but, yeah. you know, y your point about her not being smart enough to espouse her beliefs or those beliefs. You know, before I saw Mr. Reagan's video, I was telling people, listen, th this chick has absolutely no idea what she's talking about. There's no way she wrote the Green New Deal. No way she exactly. had anything to do with that thing. Someone else just handed that to her and they're using her as a mouthpiece because when you see her off script in public talking it is the dumbest nonsense you've ever heard it is totally absolutely crazy so i i think that mr first of all i know mr reagan's right because of the research he did but uh i think it's dangerous because if you watch mr reagan's video you find out they have more of these these manchurian candidates in the wings oh yeah for sure and then what's troubling is that uh the handler of aoc um, he apparently was the supporter of uh, Subhas Chandra Bose. I've never heard of this guy, and even though that I'm Indian, right? I've never heard of this guy, and this guy was a revolutionary. Just reading about him just now. And uh, this is the type of shirt that this guy's wearing. And well, can, can we be clear? Wait, can we can we be clear about something? Okay, yeah. th these people hate America. They hate right. our values. They hate the uh, our, our form of government. They hate Americans. That's that is the rock bottom line. There's no way to get around that. And that's what people need to wake up to and be concerned about. It is a. And, and the thing is, you know, what's crazy about it is if you hate America so much, even though he was what raised in Texas, why do you still live in America? So it's just well, why, mind hold on. I mean, why not? You, why not live in America when you this is the land of I mean, it, you can get anything you want with the least amount of effort in this country. There's no country in the world that gives more than this country does. And that's why these folks are here and they are here. If you look at what communists were talking about 50, 60 years ago about infiltrating, getting into the education system and the media and journalism and th that's what's going on and we are now reaping the rewards of that it's multi-generational and these folks are here and i want i want to be clear man they are here to take this country they are here from the inside to totally take this country over and you're talking about saikat chakrabarti that is the guy that's behind aoc and if people don't r know who this guy is again watch mr reagan's video Oh yeah, they they need to definitely learn about him. And then there's this other chief of staff guy that's also an open borders guy. It's, it's absolutely nuts. Yeah, it is. They, they just look at uh, that chick AOC and see all the crazy things she says, but they don't look at who feeds her these lines. And if you look at AOC when she gets off script, she sounds like a lunatic. I think that there's a lot of people more concerned about being precisely factually and semantically correct than about being morally 
Right. That, or exactly. she sounds like an idiot. She sounds like a nutball. So what, what do you think the odds are? And uh, we're kind of running up against it here um, time-wise. Right. But what do you think the odds are in 2020? Because a lot of people think that that, that all this leftist lunacy is a, is a guarantee for Trump to walk into the White House. How do you feel about that? I'm, I, I don't know. You know, I have mixed feelings. What, what do you think about that? Well, uh, to make it quick, even though the stock market is probably going to go down lower this year, uh, the reality is is that next year's an election year. Trump is going to do something to make this stock market go higher. So he should win without any trouble. Even if they shoot him, a Republican is going to win, in my opinion, because Whoa. the left has gone full out bonkers. And Trump <laughs> has a lot of flaws as well. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, I, by mean, the way, I, I, did, I did, list a yeah. lot of flaws about him right now. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Trump is basically guaranteed to win unless the Democrats put up a moderate like Schultz, but he's running as an independent. Or if they're putting um uh, just an individual like clinton but who's not as crazy as hillary clinton that's yeah. who they need to win i'll tell you what I, yeah i'll tell you what i think uh, sorry for talking over you i think that yeah. 2020 is not where the real shift is going to come i think 2024 i think that trump for is sure. i think trump's going to win but i don't think there's someone that on the on the conservative side will be there to fill the void his personality everything he is so strong in so many ways it'll be tough to follow an act like trump and i think that another you're talking about six years from now think about another six years of grooming people to salivate for socialism and be afraid of climate change and all that. I think, just get a ten more uh, Elon Omar's or uh, that's right collabs or that's right. Cortez's, that's and right. that's what they're doing. I mean, that's right. they're getting these to be bluntly putting it, getting these minorities that despise America that's right. or despise the notion of America. And I think that what we're going to see is most likely 2024 is when it all goes down. I think, I think 2024. I think 2020, 2024. I think if you look at Armstrong, he talks about 2024, his cycle, and then 2032 should be the culmination. You're going to get a maniac on the left, in my opinion. That's interesting. That's when it's all going to go down. Okay. Well, great. Well, we'll, listen, we'll talk more about that next time. I, For I, sure. I want to have you back on and get and pick your brain on some of this stuff. Where where right. can people go to find out what you're working on? Is it just still your, your YouTube channel? Yeah, YouTube, uh, Alt Investors Hangout. I'll be doing videos in the future again. Okay. Well, good. Everybody, it's Rahul from Alt Investors Hangout. Rahul, thank you for coming on. It's been a while. Let's do this again. And, for sure. And everybody, uh, go check out his channel. Thanks for being here, Rahul. Thanks. Oh, I see it. I see it again. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run amok. This is what he does.